Well, the support is only getting stronger to help keep Czech TV on the air. With less than three weeks left before the August 31st deadline to find a buyer, there isn't much time left. Public support to save the station has been flowing in for weeks, and tonight, BC politicians are stepping in. Mary Griffin has the story. Despite a broadcast record spanning 53 years, CanWest Global announced it's closing Czech TV as of August 31st. But there is work going on behind the cameras to keep the station operating. It's an idea borrowed from workers at Nanaimo's Harmac Mill, employees not only running but owning the company. You know, it's a success story in a real tough market. The Harmac pulp and paper mill is still a going concern. Closed last year when its parent company declared bankruptcy, employees banded together to buy the company along with investors and started up operations last fall. Now it's one of the few pulp mills in Canada turning a profit. Really a lot of it was the attitude of the guys that came back, the people who didn't want to be part of this, and I understand that, they didn't return. The guys that returned, they came back as, as uh, feeling that, that they had a, a lot bigger stake in this. Now Harmac investors are graciously donating their time to work with Czech employees on a proposal that's based on that company's model. With no other offers on the table, the proposal is the last chance to keep Czech TV operating well into the future. I've been told by officials at CanWest that they will consider an offer from employees backed by investors, which is what we are hoping to make within days. I would hope for the sake of the employees of Czech News, as well as, of course, the communities on Vancouver Island, that they will accept a reasonable offer and save a station that has served Vancouver Island for 53 years. With a plan to return to community-based programming, enthusiasm for an employee-owned station is building. For CanWest Global, you'd think this is a win-win. I mean, they've, they've got financial problems, and uh, so having this station purchased by the community and by the employees seems like a perfect solution. If given an opportunity that they're willing to divest and allow the company to survive without them, uh, I, I would hope that they would, as a good corporate citizen, work with the remaining employees to see how that can happen. Well, I think it's critical. Uh, Czech is more than simply a TV station to people who've lived on the island their whole lives, as I have. Uh, it really is part of our community. Now employees will determine the next step within the next few days. And the huge outpouring of support for keeping Czech on the air continues online. Thousands of people have now joined the Save Czech Facebook group. Viewers from all over the island posting their support around the clock, loving the idea of an employee purchase plan, and even offering to send in money to help us buy the station and make it island-owned. There are now over 5,400 members on Save Czech News. The emails are also pouring in hundreds in total to CanWest CEO Leonard Asper, and over five dozen alone since our news last night when we first told you about the employee purchase plan. Now you can write a letter to CanWest Global CEO Leonard Asper at lasper at canwest.com and show your support for employees buying the station. Please CC us so we have a copy at tips at checknews.ca. You can also call head office in Winnipeg at 204-956-2025. And thanks to all the people who've called and emailed. We'd also appreciate it if you could re-forward your letters specifically mentioning your support for the employee purchase plan so we can become not only your island's own, but island-owned.